Welcome lunch together. Over here, Staya, and I'm a chemical engineer. You will learn a lot of new things, but today we will just discuss about the PVC polymer, uh, why we are adding different kind of additives, and what are the effects of those additives in the PVC uh, P P PVC polymer. So here you can see that PVC additive and internal and external lubrication that is that topic uh, that we will discuss what are the internal and external lubrication, how we can improve, what are the reason that we are using and what kind of lubrication that we are using. So all those things that we learned today. So but don't forget about to like, follow, share and subscribe my channel. You will learn a lot of new things but if you need any kind of information you just let me know you can send me a message and i will do my best to help you so let's move on the lubrication properties of polymers as you can see that there are two major additives that we add for the lubrication one is just like calcium stearate and other one is just like a pewx paraffin wax we are adding in the pvc for internal and external lubrication first we will learn about what is internal and external lubrication and then we will move further so here we are you can see over here these are the molecules the green the green circular shape you can see these are the pvc molecules or, uh, or these are the polymers the uh you can see the lines the lines is just like an internal lubrication between monomers uh, between monomers there is a lubrication one layer of uh, polyvinyl chloride is just like slide to another which require internal lubrication and these are internal lubrication you can see over here is external lubrication what is mean by external lubrication lubrication means that polymers slide to the surface of the metal or maybe during the extrusion the metal surface or a scooter surface with the polymer is rub each other and we require external lubricants at that time so internal lubricants between the layer of monomers and external lubricants pvc with metal parts of the screw so let's see internal lubrication also reduce the viscosity and effect of fusion time so it's also my examples are fatty alcohols metal steroids and polyfunctional alcohol these are all uh, example of internal lubricants uh, these are the external lubricants you can see external lubricant lubricants between metal surface and PVC polymers these are external lubricants and here you can see some examples of internal lubricants and you can see uh, external lubricants and uh, you can note it down if you need any other information you can contact us and here we are some example paraffin wax polyethylene and mineral oils are external lubrications so uh, in this ex in this picture you will understand clearly here we you can see these are the polymer polymer monomers one two three and between the this is just like a, a metal surface and metal surface between polymer is just like you can see paraffin wax just help us for the exclusion process and in this part you can see calcium stearate which is more commonly used as an internal lubricant and sometimes zinc stearate has also so pvc wax PV, P, polyvinyl chloride and as well as uh, P, uh, p wax both are uh, in between that you can see a calcium stearate which is rub you can see that over here that's calcium stearate which is help us to reduce the friction and the same is over here when paraffin wax and calcium stearate both added it's really effective we will learn later on so mostly pvc is just like melting around or processing around 170 or 175 centigrade and uh, dop is the uh, is just like a dop mostly used which is not commonly used in these days which is a little bit dangerous to help but it's also used a plasticizer which help us to flexible uh, our a polymer and what what it do it, it just like dop reduced the transition to temperature in the pvc or polyvinyl chloride calcium stearate much less haze than paraffin wax haze means just like a fusion agglomeration or mist kind of occur occurrence so calcium stearate don't make such kind of thing it's make but it's not too much like a paraffin wax so calcium stearate is compatible with pvc P, pvc is very compatible it's just like helpful to and paraffin wax more haze just like no or no incompatible pvc just paraffin wax 
so over here you can see paraffin wax is as external lubricants and calcium stearate is internal lubricant we have to use both of them if we are not using any one of them at any time it may cause problem we will see that over here these are the just like calcium excellent gluing ability and a large hole between pvc is just like occurrence dispersion pvc is help calcium to help a dispersion because it's just like internal lubricant everything will easily disperse pigments and other kind of things paraffin wax is not compatible haze occur is a when we use that so now this is more important just like you can see on the y-axis ductile brittle transition uh, and over here is just like a temperature first we add only paraffin wax we don't add uh, uh, calcium stearate so you can see that the ductile brittleness is very low and then we only add uh paraffin wax and in this picture you can oh, sorry calcium stearate and calcium stearate is a little bit slightly ductile ability slightly raised in polyvinyl chloride but when we are adding both of them this is just like a graph you can see when we are adding the combination of calcium stearate and as well as paraffin wax you can see the graph is just like a drop increase and this this show that the ductile ability is increased in poly, uh, polyvinyl, polyvinyl chloride uh, polymer so now you can see some uh, there are one other factors PVC not melt stearate has the porous metals releasing so be porous melt releasing so met metal is not releasing very well paraffin wax does not improve the metal releasing ability paraffin wax not helpful so calcium stearate and paraffin wax both work together and then the metal release and the exclusion is occurred so calcium now this is the point which you have to be understand that what does that mean uh, power consumption I mean to say when we are screwing excluding so power consumption is more important calcium stearate if we are using only calcium stearate the highest uh, power consumption occur because external lubrication is not 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 present and when we are using calcium stearate and paraffin wax both then the lowest power consumption so it is really helpful that we we can't neglect any one of them so again over here this, these are the PV, PVC monomers molecules and you calcium stearates help us between the PVC molecule you can see one PVC second PVC between that calcium stearate and the surface uh, between between the molecule or external lubrication is paraffin wax when we are adding both so internal and external lubrication occur which is really helpful again uh, you can see a scrusion um, pair ampere is just like uh, the load so if we are using calcium or calcium stearates over here and PHR is the value amount amount to so 2 PHR you can see 140 centigrade 40 ampere 191 centigrade 28 ampere 204 27 ampere and when we are using paraffin wax alone 36 27 30, 26 26 so both are high ampere which is require a lot of electricity which is also uh, which is also cost which is also enhances the cost so when we are adding one of uh, one paraffin wax and one more PHR of the calcium stearate you can see only 9 ampere uh, exclusion load which is really 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 good because it's helped us to enhance the quality of the product and it in increase the life of our scooter and so many advantages are over there so and reduce the so right now is the conclusion before wrap up you can see calcium steroid mildly promote the fusion of pvc and improve metal steroids we know that calcium steroid is helpful to release a metal steroid paraffin wax is not helpful for releasing uh, metal steroid but it's also helpful uh, for external lubricants so both 25% calcium steroid and 75% of paraffin wax are combined a significant effluent delay delay which means it, it, it should not reduce the processing temperature and maximum metal release which is very important so uh, over here if you if you if you understand what i have shared with you and you have to support me like share follow and subscribe my channel you will learn a lot of new things and we are also providing different kind of material if you want you can ask some problems in the comment section or you can text me on my social media so thank you for coming over here i'm very happy to talk to you stay blessed stay happy see you later bye bye